IBN Bing break the fossil record. IB Binosaurus. They dug for half an hour without finding any more bones. Bean was on the edge of giving up. She figured that one bone was a lot more than most people found. But then she thought of Mary Anning chip chip chipping for her ear. She didn't want to be wimpier than Mary Anning or Ivy, so she dug and dug. Ivy's nose was running, and she had mud all over her. Also, her feet had gone to sleep for being kneeled on. But she didn't give up either. She combed through each new load of dirt with her fingers, feeling for bones. She she found a lot of ro rocks. Rocks. She found a marble. She found a piece of blue plastic. Then. Her fingers, burrowing into the mud like worms, plucked out another bone. This one was shorter and thicker, but it was definitely a bone. I've, I got another one, she called, being dropped down beside her, beside her and looked at the grey-brown lump. We rock, she said. No, we fossil, giggled Ivy. She dusted the bone carefully and put it next to the first one. We can <coughs> put them together later, she said. How do you put them together if we, you don't know which dinosaur it is? Asked Ben. It's like a puzzle, I think. You look for pieces that fit together, said Ivy. We can look in dinosaur books too, so it's a lot easier for us than for Mary Annie. She didn't have any pictures to look at, but she remembered. Mary Annie found the whole ichthyosaurus, so she didn't need to put it together. It's sort of cheating to find the whole thing, said Ben. Oh man, here's a big one. She fished around in the dirt and pulled out a thick, happy bun. It was a very serious looking bun. Ben held it up. It reached from her head to her elbow. She whistled. It's no longer a cute dinosaur. It's a big, scary dinosaur. What if it's just a little finger? Uh, just its little finger, said Ben Ivy dreamily. Monstrosaurus, said Ben. Ivy Venusaurus, said Ivy. You're supposed to name them. After the person who discovered them, Ben giggled. After them, Ben giggled. Then her shovel hit something hard. Another bone appeared. This one, smooth and rounded. Wow, Nelly! cried Ben. I think I got a piece of its skull. A few minutes later. Ben found another small bone. Abby found two more, one big and another me uh, the other medium. There was no doubt about it. The backyard had been sw swarming with dinosaurs. You know, so Abby said, holding up her ninth bone. They didn't even call out when they found them now. Mary Anning was twelve when she found 
part of dinosaurs. We we are only seven. We'll probably the youngest paleontologist in the world. Ben stops digging and leaned on her shovel. The youngest paleontologist in the world. I be. You know what that means, huh? It means we're record breakers. I be stopped rubbing dirt. She and B grinned at each other. Youngest paleontologist in the world, said I be. That's way better than spoons. By the time Ben, I be, I be had to go home. The girls had found seventeen bones. They were all different size, but they were clearly from the same dinosaurs. Dinosaur because they were all the same shade of grayish brown. Ben's father called her in for dinner. Ben washed. Of most of the dirt and sat down at the din- dining room table. She smiled, thinking about the dinosaur skeleton. She and I B were began to go, uh, go, were going to build. They are totally. They were totally awesome. They would probably be on TV. Her parents would have to let her watch TV if she was on it. Bean noticed that Nancy was kneeling at her. She was still mad about the octopus. If I ever catch you looking at one of my glass animals again, you will be sorry. Nancy hissed while their father served up their pasta. What I'm, what I'm. What am I supposed to do? Put a blindfold on when I go into your room? You're not supposed to go into my room," said Nancy. "Because it's my room." Daddy, can I get a lock on my door? No," said Dad, bringing in their balls. Ben started stared at her pasta. It looked f- funny, but she decided. Not to say so. This pasta looks weird," said Nancy. "That's why I. That's what I thought, but I didn't say," it, said Ben. <laughs> Mom says if you say, if uh, if you you can say something nice about your food, you shouldn't say anything at all. Nancy lifted one eyebrow, eyebrow, and said, "Little children who break dishes, dishes, steal other people's stuff." And screech their brains out. Have no right to talk about what other people do. How about? If we don't talk at all for a little while, suggested Dad. Fine with me, said Nancy. Me too, said Ben. So she didn't tell them anything about the ma- about the amazing dinosaur finding the backyard. So that night she stuck. Serves them right," she thought. "I'll be the youngest paleontologist in the world, and they won't even know it."